Well, good evening, and thank you for tuning in to Fathers Who Care and the West Side Community State Holders. It is, again, our pleasure to be on this show uh, once again. And it's, as always, uh, I and our purpose for coming on here is to make a difference, to bring about additional resources, individuals, and services, and support that we know have been instrumental and positive in our community. This month is the month of August, and we'd like to dedicate this show to public awareness, legislation, and community empowerment. And Fathers Who Care, as those who are watching today may not know, we are a non-for-profit community-based organization uh, that's on the lo located on the west side of Chicago, particularly in West Garfield Park. Just like we and others like ourselves, we are committed to social change and community empowerment. And this show, we want to dedicate uh, this show to particularly the 28th Ward and what's going on in that ward. And we are fortunate this evening to have our special guest, Alderman and Committeeman, none other than uh, Alderman Jason Irvin. Uh, unfortunately, Jason Irvin could not be with us in person because he's in Atlanta uh, and he had some, some light uh, technical situ uh, situations in Atlanta. Uh, with a layover, but we're going to pray for his safe uh, return back to Chicago. But he is on the line with us via Zoom. I think Zoom, WebEx, and all, and all blue jeans and all that social stuff now has become the new norm because now you can be all over the place and just log on in. So we're thankful for that technology. But just for those who don't know, we want to encourage those who are watching today that if you're in need of any type of intervention and or support, feel free to get in touch with Fathers Who Care at what number? 773-287-5821. Can you repeat that number one more time, please? 773-287-5821. So with that being said, we really want those who are watching us today to know that if you're interested in volunteering, if you've got some young people between the ages of 12 to 24, uh, you can give us a call at that number that uh, Vernicia just gave you, or you can log in to www.fatherswhocare.org, or you can give us a, a call on, I think it's Snapchat. What's the mother things y'all got? TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> They got all of that stuff. So, you know, I'm just learning as I'm growing, but these young people are moving into so many social mediums that we literally have to be connected with these young people in order to be in the loop. I did hear TikTok. I heard Facebook, I heard Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. And, and, and you, you know the rest. <laughs> so with that being said, we want to just thank you all for tuning in with us this evening. And we hope that this show is inspiring, motivating, and also we pray that you will get something out of it. I'm going to just preference by saying that we also want you to be listening to uh, what we got coming up with the Alderman. The Alderman having his annual back to school community day event. Seniors, the community, all, all the family is welcome to come out. It's going to be a wonderful event. It's going to be at 3250 West Adams, uh, right in the, the, the right on the side of Marshall High School. So we're going to get the alderman here in a minute, but we just want to take this last moment to just say to you all that this show is dedicated to People United to promote a safe, healthy, and drug-free community while encouraging others in community organizing and civic engagement. And by bringing in, of course, our alderman, he's the epitome of community engagement. He's committed to the community. He loves the community. He's always in the community. He's accessible. You are, anytime you need him, he's there. So I, it's not hard for me to say that about what he's doing. But anyway, as we're moving forward, we'll just introduce you to the alderman now. Uh, he's our alderman and commitment, as I alluded to before, of the 28th Award. He's a man of God, a community servant for social change, and we believe he is uh, a staple, a, a serious staple in the revitalization and empowerment that's going on in the 28th Ward, particularly in the Madison Corridor and surrounding areas. So without any further ado, we'd like to introduce you uh, to some and present to others, none other than our Alderman, Alderman Jason Irvin of the 28th Ward. Alderman, are you there, sir? Yes, I am. Uh, 
uh, thank you, uh, Reverend Jones, for having me. It's always good uh, to come on with Father to Care. I know you're always full of information for the community and for the people, and I'm glad to be able to contribute, uh, especially in the West Garfield Park community. I appreciate everything that you do with the young people in the area. I know you guys are doing great things, and I just want to be there to support uh, everything that you all have to on in, in the community. So as, uh, as was stated, I'm actually in travel uh, back uh, at the uh, airport in Atlanta, as you can tell by the background and some noise and all the extra stuff. But uh, I, I did not want to miss uh, supporting fathers who care. So uh, again, just taking time out as I get I'm here on a layover uh, as I come back to Chicago to get prepared uh, for back to school and some other things happening in the community over the weekend. And the first day of school, which is on a Monday. So let's make sure that we get all of our young people ready and set to go to school on Monday. Absolutely. Um, we can see the planes behind you, and we, we're just hoping that, you know, that you have a, a safe trip and that that layover would not be a long one and that you can get back home where you belong uh, with your family and friends and of course in the community that loves you so dearly so with that being said i want to come back and just ask you a question alderman as we we know that you are uh, trying to get out of atlanta uh, to get back home so you can get back in, in touch with what's going on for saturday we know that's your annual uh, back to School Community Appreciation Day Love Fest. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself first, Alderman. Why are you so committed to being a public servant uh, or, if you will, an agent for social change? Why are you so compassionate and committed to that? Well, uh, this, uh, that was something that was instilled in me from my family. Uh, my father served numerous years on the west side. Uh, being a member of the Chicago Police Department, working in the community police and ultimately uh, serving as commander in the 11th district, which is the bulk of the West Country Park where we're located. So I've been, it's been a part of the family. My mother uh, actually from the church, actually in Christian education, Sunday school. So giving back is, is really like in the DNA of the family. So uh, it, it, was, it was just a natural fit for me to get involved. I got involved with all the Smith back in the, uh, in the late 90s. And, uh, Community basis. Uh, and also wanted to be in the community, work in the community, and be a positive influence in the community as we see so many negative things happening in the community. Uh, sometimes it's good to see somebody get up and go to work every day. Um, it's not go walk into a corner or it's not walk into some negative activity in the community. So I mean, I could live anywhere uh, in the city, around the city, in the suburbs, but I chose to live in the west side of Chicago. As I said, my family's from the west side. Parents went to Thurgood High School. Uh, you know, so I'm, I'm west side all day long. I was born on the west side. Spent a little time in Bethany before my family moved down south. I went to church, all the fat times. Everything that was part of what we did was on the west side of Chicago. And having an opportunity to serve this same community, uh, born in Austin, and uh, in the mountain as part of the world, uh, has always been a great privilege and an honor that I, you know, have to get a network. Uh, and I always be cherished because the people that give me that opportunity to serve them are on a daily basis. Hold on one second, Alderman. Uh, it seems like we have uh, something going on with the, with the reception. What you say, Amani? Okay, she was requesting if it's possible, Alderman, if you can move closer to the camera so she can record you. How is that? I'm sorry. Okay, well, he looks good. Is that good for you? Well, thank you, Alderman. Uh, and, and all I mean, some may not know, but you have been cut from a cloth. Well, even at this day and age, anytime you're doing an event, um, your your mom is always at the event. And we know that, I think most of, some folks may not know, but would, they, would you like to tell them who your father was? Uh, as, uh, as I stated earlier, my father uh, was commander of the 11th district after he retired from the police department and into ministry. 
So again, we've been serving the community, you know, since the 60s. Mm-hmm. And that will continue the legacy uh, with not only myself, but also my wife's a public servant as well. So again, it's something that we continue to do and believe in giving back to the community uh, that has given so much to us. Absolutely. And uh, for those who may not know, the alderman, of course, is the alderman and, com- and commitment of the 28th Ward. But his wife is also uh, Melissa Kanye Irvin. She's our city treasurer. So, Alderman, you was talking about why you feel compelled and motivated. But tell us about what's going on in West Garfield Park. We know that there's a lot of activity going on up and down the Madison-Pulaski Corridor. We see a lot of folks having a lot of meetings about a lot of the things coming over. Can you enlighten the community on what's going on in the 29th Ward? Well, we've got a number of things. First of all, I want to talk about uh, a lot of people have been calling us in relation to the disaster and the flooding uh, that occurred back in July. So, uh, for the record, the president did this week sign the disaster declaration, which is going to make assistance available for individuals who are impacted by the flood. Um, I sent out some information to residents on this yesterday. Um, if you if you were uh, had damages from the flood. Uh, there's a website that you can go to, which is disasterrecovery.gov. Again, disasterrecovery.gov and start the process for application to FEMA for individual assistance. Uh, we're going to be hosting a community meeting on that in the very near future. We were just on today uh, with FEMA uh, in a large format so we could get the basic information and we begin pushing that information out the residents that were impacted by the floor primarily in the areas of West Garfield Park and in the Austin community. So if you were impacted, please, uh, FEMA assistance has been approved. So we want to make sure that everyone gets the assistance that they need and are, are deserved under the federal law. This is something we've been pushing for along with the mayor uh, and other aldermen on the west side, including Austin and Fritz, Austin, Chris Terry, Ferrer, Austin, and Scott, because our wards were impacted greatly by this flood. So let's make sure, number one, that we start that process. Uh, number two, uh, as part of my role as a uh, Democratic Board Committee member, uh, we had the opportunity uh, on Tuesday to select a new state senator in the area covering the East and West Garfield Park. For those of you who didn't know, State Senator Patricia Van Pelt resigned her office uh, as of August 1st, and part of my responsibility as a Democratic War Committee man and other Democratic War Committee men in the district that served that served the fifth district, uh, we had it's our responsibility to name a replacement to the next election, which we did on, 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 uh, on Tuesday. And uh, State Representative uh, Lakeisha Collins from the ninth district is now the state senator in the fifth district. Just a little lesson here. Uh, the state senate district is comprised of two state rep districts. There are two state representatives, one state senator in each legislative district. So the state rep in the ninth district, which is also part of the fifth senate district, is now the new state senator in the area covering uh, east and west Garfield Park, as well as North Lawndale, Humboldt Park, and other areas in the east. So she is now our new state senator. We want to congratulate her on her promotion and the work that she continues to do. Uh, thirdly, uh, again, this has been a super busy week. Uh, we've been working uh, on various things. When you talked about Madison, when you look at Madison, we've got a lot of projects happening along the Madison corridor. Remember the skating group that we had last summer, which has been some major construction. It will be a permanent recreation plaza. I just want to thank everybody for the belief in something happening positive on Madison. So we have made that uh, a permanent uh, installation on Madison. And as you see, they're putting in all types of things in that particular location. Next, we also have the uh, the uh, San Coco Wellness Center, which is going to be going up at the corner of Kildare and Madison, which is a, a $50 million development on the corner of Kildare and Madison. And it offers a health center, a community center, and a recreation center. Again, all of this uh, from the Santa Copa Wellness Village. They were winners of the Pritzker Prize as well as funding from the city of Chicago 
to make that work and that would be a great community anchor for West Garfield Park in the 4300 block of Madison. And the final piece I want to talk about, next the final piece I want to talk about on Madison is that we're in the process of in the 3800 block of Madison. The city bought the old all these sites because again, we wanted to make sure that we retain the quality of growth in the community and didn't want that land necessarily to just go to anybody to do anything. So uh, last year, uh, with city council approval, we were able to uh, get the funding to purchase that location. But we didn't stop there. The one good thing I tell people about having uh, the mayor and some other people that have some affiliation to the west side of Chicago, I asked at the time that might be just drive back on her way home. Because if you all did know, they live and they like to live right off the home even real fast. So on our way home, I said, try fast, 3,800 block of Madison. I think we should buy that whole block and begin the process of, of, of rebuilding the whole 3,800 block of Madison. Her and the Department of Planning agreed with me, and we started acquisition. The whole south side of the 3,800 block of Madison acquisition. Okay, uh, Alderman, uh, we were just informed. Okay, he's on a Bluetooth right now. So what we'll do is just reiterate some things. First thing we want to share is the fact that the that there is a, a disaster relief at disasterrecovery.gov, or you can contact FEMA uh, for those who have been impacted by the flood uh, that we experienced in I think it was latter June uh, and July, the second to at least. And then Alderman was talking about we do have a new state senator. Uh, our new state senator is Lakeisha Collins. She was formerly the uh, rep over in the 9th District, the state rep. Uh, my understanding is that in the 5th District, our former uh, Senator uh, Patricia Van Pelt Scott uh, resigned. And so uh, I think uh, Lakeisha Collins was appointed uh, by the powers to be to be the new state senator of the 5th District. And then the alderman spoke specifically about the event that we're doing Saturday uh, at 3250 West Adams, uh, that's Saturday, August the 19th. And then the alderman also spoke about all of the, the new things that's coming into uh, the West Garfield Park, the 28th Ward. He talked about the Wellness Center. Uh, that is going to be a $50 million project on Madison and Kildare. Uh, so there's a lot of, they talked about the Recreation Plaza, the Madison Pulaski Corridor. So that sounds all to me like there's a lot going on and that you've been extremely busy in bringing some of those much needed resources back into the community. Is that fair? Yes, it is. Uh, I mean, we're, we're continuing to work. Uh, Madison is, uh, we want to make Madison strong again. Uh, for those who may have noticed, we've got a, a special service area on Madison where we're doing cleaning on a daily basis. So it's starting to look cleaner. We just got to clean up the crime on Madison. Uh, that's the next move. Uh, but again, uh, we're going to continue working on Madison because it is the showpiece of the west side of Chicago. And we must make sure that we take care of our main of business thoroughfare so that they can take care of the people. Well, I will say this, and I and I say this humbly. I've, I've been around you and I've been in the community for many, many years. And it's unfortunate that I've seen different commanders, which we'll talk about that in a minute, but I've seen different commanders come and go. And I've seen the plight of, of things happening uh, in the Madison Corridor from Hamlin to Springfield, from Springfield to the Expressway, uh, from Madison down all the way to Cicero, if you will. But but I noticed that when you were working with some of the former commanders, uh, like I remember the days when you was working with Commander West and how you and Commander West came straight to the community and cleaned up that, uh, that, that what they call it, that plaza, the strip mall, right up in there and then all up and down Madison. Is that uh, is that on your agenda for the future, sir? Yeah, you know, Madison has ebbs and flows and right now it is at a lake. Uh, when the new superintendent uh, come, comes in uh, and I've had a relationship with him, um, that is one of the first points that we must consider uh, working toward 
Um, also with the special service area, we're also going to have some funding where we can employ some security and do some other things because um, what's happening on Madison with the sale of this cannabis is really having a detrimental impact on the businesses. It's having a detrimental impact on the people that are coming uh, on, on Madison and want to come to Madison. So we've got to do some cleaning up. Like I said, we're doing some physical cleaning. Now we've got to do some fine cleaning on Madison in order to bring it back to there. Because we're investing a lot of resources on Madison. So we want to where people will feel comfortable to come. We can build a brand new grocery store in Madison, but if you don't feel comfortable, and you won't come to the grocery store. So we want to change that about Madison as we begin to put millions of dollars on Madison. Put twenty million dollars in the Legler Library, you know, fifty million dollars uh, for the uh, wellness center, probably seventy million dollars on uh, the thirty eight hundred block. So we're, we're we're trying to bring the resources on Madison, but we got to clean up the crime on Madison with it in order for it all to be successful. You are absolutely right, Alderman, and we know personally from being out in the community with you that you have been laboring to bring those resources. And I do see that there's a whole lot of people now coming into the community, setting up shop in the community because they know that the community is on the rise. But when, 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 we, when the laboring was out in the community, that the, the laborers were few. Uh, but now that the resources have been targeted towards the community, you see a whole, uh, uh, whole influx, if you will, of people trying to state claim. And I, and I know you see it. But anyway, we want to uh, mention that we want to thank you, Alderman, for all the work you've been doing. And we want to, again, encourage those who are listening to come out uh, to the community back to school day uh, uh, at 3250 West Adams on Saturday, August the 18th. And then I know it starts at 12 o'clock, but then we also wanna encourage those of you to join us on September the 9th for our, our annual summer series, uh, screening series, com uh, Community Appreciation Day back to school event. And we're gonna be on the street at 4731 West Madison. We're gonna take over the corner or kill Patrick. So Alderman, we got about another minute. Can you just give your number uh, for folks and we pray that you have a safe trip home? Yes, uh, our office, our telephone number is area code 773-533-0900. Or you can email us at info, I-N-F-O, at aldermanurban.com. And we're going to spell E-R-B-I-N.com. As always, uh, Reverend Jones, thank you for everything that you're doing, and thank you for this opportunity to be with you all this evening. Man, it's my pleasure, and I thank you, all the men, for always being the man that you are. Again, he's saying give him a call at 773-533-0900, or you can call or uh, email him at, at info at aldermanurban.com. So if for additional information, call us at Fathers Who Care at 773-287-5821. Even in spite of these technical difficulties, we still made it work. So we want to pray for our alderman that he has a safe trip home. And we want to thank Can TV for, for what you're doing, all you've been doing. And we hope that we can continue to get the nicks out of this new systems that we're working on. Because as we grow, things change. So as we're growing into our new processes these days, we know that the new technology is coming so we are thankful for that we're thankful for you alderman again give our best to your your wife your your mother and of course your your little sweet uh, princess that you got but to all the rest of you guys thank you so very much thank you vernicia for all the work that you're doing with the youth council thank you armani and thank you my dear friend i forgot her name but thank you armani and and, and others for all that you do so god bless you god keep you uh, and enjoy your day and we'll talk to you soon good night